Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It's Saturday, and I'm here at the San Clemente outlet for the weekly South OC Calls and Coffee. Let's go check it out. Okay, instead of starting at Supercar Road, I am gonna start with this thing. This is a truly unique vehicle. This is a, a Renault, and uh, it's it's well, I guess it's a rear engine because yeah, it's it's the engine's in the back, but you know it looks like the engine's in the front, but there's really no engine on here, and the the engine takes up so much space. There you go, the engine is there. What normally would be the passenger has now been occupied by an engine. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. And according to the plate. This is only one of 200. It's the uh, Lamborghini gang. <laughs> yeah. They all come in at the same time. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's begin. This is Simon's Camaro, uh, supercharged, big walking supercharger, makes about 800 horsepower. So, this is uh, James's Audi R8, and here we have uh, my Clarence 650S. This is actually, I believe, the Le Mans edition. Yeah. The, a special limited model made for well to commemorate Le Mans, and it has a Le Mans hood scoop on there. Again, right over here, I see a Ferrari 488 Pista. Actually, no, it's not. A Ferrari Speciale. Yeah, not a 488. That's Ferrari Speciale. The Corvette belonged to Cher, as well as the Porsche belonged to Cher, and also this time they bought out a BMW as well. And then we have Ford GT, Jay's Ford GT right here. And his back, his back, the SLC Superlight. Yeah, this is a home built, home built. There's the owner. It makes like uh -huh. uh, the engine at one point had a tune of 1300 horsepower. He has since backed it down because it was just uh, well, too powerful. GT3 RS, another GT3 RS. I mean, no, these are the new GT3, they're not the RS's, though. So I'm off today. Yeah, GT3, try F430. Italia Spider MP412C. Have, yeah, these things are getting more and more rare. But this is the original McLaren uh, supercar before they started making the 650 and all the other ones. So this was the first one that put them on the map. And you can see the uh, super low engine there. McLaren GT. California, Ferrari F12, AMG GT, 600 LT, with carbon fiber wheels. Interesting. Or well, carbon fiber barrel, anyway. The uh, the wheel, the spokes are alloy, and the barrel is carbon fiber. Good weight saving there. A really nice specs. So Evo here, green. Go white. DB11, Austin Martin. Very nice. A Vanquish. Very nice too. Naturally aspirated V12, hand built. 
This one has a really nice spec interior. So. Yeah. Along with a carbon fiber roof and carbon fiber mirrors and, and lots of carbon fiber accents. I told my son one day we'd do one. Like a 260 or 240. Ooh, check this out. Wow, check out those wheels. Seven Shanti Spider. Another Ferrari. Supercar, Mr. Supercar Garage, I believe, is here. And here we have the members of the Lamborghini gang. I see they all parked in the same place. Yeah. Check out this uh, Uricon with the crushed carbon fiber. Yeah, this is something the Lamborghini invented. Instead of using a carbon fiber weave, they just took carbon fiber fragments and they crushed it to create that look. And this unit has been supercharged by VF Engineering. So, check out the red supercharger on top. And all the other Lamborghinis. That is so California. Here we have a couple of forgotten Porsches. This is the uh, 944 or 924 maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe the 924. The 944 had bigger fender flares. And this here is the, uh, the 928. Both front engine Porsches. And uh, they were in production for a while and then, well, they just didn't sell very well. So Porsche stuck with the 911. Uh, check out this uh, Porsche Speedster. It is for sale and uh, it's beautifully restored. Yeah, check it out. It's something I noticed about the Speedster. Like, uh, well, first of all, the seat, I don't think supplies pro provide much support, but uh, check this out. It has a jump seat, so you can actually carry someone in the back as long as they have no legs. Uh, check out the, uh, I believe, the air cool engine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So South Pole City Cars and Coffee has a new sponsor. RPM Tesla. Yes. RPM Tesla. EV after market maker. It's sponsoring Cars and Coffee. And this is their the really hopped up Model 3 right here. So check it out. I mean, uh, it's equipped with all the parts that RPM sells at their shop. So you see a carbon fiber hood, uh, the gull wing, the Lamborghini Lambo style door. That's a, that's a little crazy there. And check out the interior. So you got carbon, carbon dash, a yoke steering wheel. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Because, you know, Tesla owners, a car enthusiast as well. And there's a whole aftermarket industry for it. I got the SpaceX badge. <laughs> and if you want the, the plaid logo. <laughs> oh my, oh my, look at this thing. And it is for sale. <laughs> Check out that engine, so. Uh, twin turbo setup you can see see there's the exhaust it goes on there goes into the first goes into the turbo that starts spinning and then it exits out here for the exhaust and this connected by a common shaft so air comes into here it gets spun by the turbo and booms into the carburetor in this case and then into the engine and yeah that's that's basically how a turbo works so there's one on this side and there's another one on the other side so yeah, it's great. I mean, clearly show 
a turbo setup. So once again, the car's exhaust goes up to the turbo, spins, spins the uh, impeller, takes it to here, and the impeller is connected to this side, which sucks in the air that gets spun and kind of creates boost into the intake. Yeah. A pair of matching Corvettes, nice. Chevy truck with a supercharged motor. So I guess this will show you the difference between a supercharger and a turbocharger. Uh, this right here, that's the supercharger. And the supercharger is not connected to the exhaust. As you can see, the exhaust just comes right out of the car and into the atmosphere. Supercharger is connected to the engine via this belt. And as the engine turns, uh, that turns the supercharger rotor and, and then you see the intake. So the air comes out through there goes in a supercharger and that's sp spun up and compressed and that creates a boost. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, this engine is so big, there's a big hole in the hood. Hell, might as well just don't run the hood. <laughs> oh my word, yeah. So here you see the supercharger and uh, additional braces to protect it. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's is the mother of all engine swap right here. That's a that's a crazy Volvo. Look, it says Volvo on the lights. Nice. All right, check out this Toyota pickup with an LS turbocharged engine setup. Whoa! So it's got a big LS V8 in there. And it has a single turbo, one big turbo instead of two. So what happens in this kind of case, uh, the exhaust on this side and that side, the exhaust there is routed over and it joins with the exhaust on, on, on this side and that connects the, uh, to the turbo. And that's a big turbo. <laughs> and this little Mazda, Check it out. It has a synthetic supercharger. It looks like a turbo, but it's really a supercharger. So you see, it is connected by a belt to the engine. So it has, it offers some of the advantage of a turbo uh, with some of the advantage of a regular root style supercharger. They're not as popular, but they're pretty good for in terms of you need some tight packaging. Speaking of packaging, Look how tight everything is in this BMW's uh, M motor. Wow. There's like almost no spare inch of room. All right, so we've been talking about superchargers and turbochargers. This is what we call naturally aspirated. No superchargers, no turbo, and it works very, very simple. There's the air intake. It goes into that and then into the motor and then it comes out the exhaust so that's uh, naturally aspirated cool another example of a naturally aspirated motor there you go <laughs> you can clearly see the intake into the motor and then that's yeah comes right out really well done actually wow so you can see it. I like it. Ah, somebody get this thing a push and just squish it to the ground. Yep. You gotta be really careful not to curb these wheels. Mm -hmm. GT4 in red and black. Very nice color combination. And the owner added a riser wing mount to the wing. Normally, normally the, the wing is attached to right there, but he added this little piece to, uh, to make it taller. Yeah, it's much, much taller now. Another example of a supercharged motor. This is an LSA root style supercharger right on top there. And, and I love this sign. That's right. And right next to it, we have an example of a synthetic supercharger. That's a Pro Charger right there. 
the, uh, the placement of the air filter is less than optimal. I mean, it's basically next to a hot engine. <laughs> see, this setup is a little better. So as you can see, he, uh, he sectioned off the air filter, will seal it off from the hot, from protect the heat from the engine. And uh, the air comes out from, um, yeah, somewhere here and to get air, so much cooler air. Uh, this setup, uh, yeah, yeah, not optimal. Vintage car calls for a vintage, naturally aspirated motor. So there you go, the air filter, carburetor into the motor, and then you see the exhaust. No supercharger, no turbos in the way. <laughs> Check out the intercooler setup on this Mazda. <laughs> That's a big intercooler. And right under the hood, see, as the intake, Onto the inner cooler. <laughs> nice. Where's the turbo? It's hidden in there somewhere, isn't it? It's back here. It's, it's back there? Yeah. Oh, That's you got the turbo like oh, in the back. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this it's really cramped this is really tight packaging you guys did there, man. <laughs> wow, that's an awesome setup, but yeah, that, that is tight. You got almost no space to work with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turbo is uh, right, you can kind of see it right here. Yeah. There's a tight squeeze, but yeah, there's it, a three port boost controller kind of blocking it. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess this is an engine out, engine out operation. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much. <laughs> At the end of the lot, a GT3 RS all by his lonesome. Yeah, this is Porsche's track focused toy. And uh, it's very light. Porsche is obsessed about losing weight. In fact, they are so obsessed about losing weight. Uh, check out this emblem here. See the emblem? That's a sticker. Yeah, normal Porsche has an actual emblem, but uh, Porsche wanted to save weight, so they, they made a sticker. Huracan Spider Audi R8 with BBS wheels in the same color as the car. 600 LT with the optional hood scoop. This is the rear wheel drive Lamborghini Huracan. It's not the all wheel drive, it drives the rear. So, as a commercial Lago 720, another 720. Ah, Ferrari F8 Tributo. The uh, current, this is actually uh, the last of the V8 Ferrari, I guess, because uh, they'll be from then, from now on, they're looking at making turbocharged V6 hybrids. So, if you're looking for a final V8 Ferrari, this is the one to get. Porsche, Viper, and uh, oh, check it out, a GTR. Left hand drive. Direct like right from Japan. And all the motorcycles. So this is South OC Cars and Coffee. It happens every Saturday from uh, 9 to 11 at the San Clemente Outlet. If you're a car enthusiast, you're in the car, you just want to take a walk and with a dog or something, this is where you need to be on Saturday. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.